Boom Beach gave the mechs a buff. Let's see what all the hype's about. They buffed them in three ways. So they increased their stun duration, they're faster, and they do more damage now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how much they really done it, because I haven't tried them out yet, so I guess we will see. But uh, I, on the stun thing, so they now will stun buildings for a short period of time. I'm not sure if it was like that before. Like, it, it was supposed to stun them, but it, it, it didn't seem that prevalent in attack. But we will see if... Um, their buff to it made a difference or if there was just a bug they have to fix on the speed front I guess that is quite a bit quicker. They don't step faster I was expecting them to step faster, but their steps are a bit longer and in hopes of not um, Isolating them too much. We are bringing um, We are bringing grenadiers as they don't cost energy and then a boat of bombardiers kind of as an insurance policy so this isn't as much a full mech strat which would cost a lot of gbe and i don't really want to deal with that today um even though they got a buff and i i kind of like mechs but um i guess we'll see how they do at this point in the attack we have lost two mechs and we only have six left it's about to be three down to five mechs remaining and we have some difficult parts of this base to get through we're gonna go ahead throw a couple barrages and artillery into this area right here as there is a I don't even know what was in there just boom cannons and a boom surprise so um, yeah and then we also with the grenadiers I guess this does slow down the attack as there is not a lot of damage but assuming we can get to the HQ and get the grenadiers and bombardiers locked on we shouldn't have any issues today for our hero today we are bringing sergeant brick and we are going to see if they patched the glitch with her where boom beach would crash after popping her ability and you destroy an hq but i don't think we get it on this one because we don't have enough energy to use a battle orders but that first base was more resistant than i was expecting we kept four mechs alive and we did lose a grenadier that like I don't know, the, that attack felt closer than it really was. I guess when you start dropping mechs early, um, it does seem like the attack's gonna go a bit uh, slanted, but I, honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this mech buff because they waited so long to do it and they waited for a new troop to come out. They should have done it in one of the last HQ updates. That would have been nice, but... Um, I, I guess there's no point in complaining about it because now I, I like the way they slide off those landing crafts. Very nice. We'll go ahead and get the rest of our troops out and then a box of critters to hopefully take care of those shock mines. It looks like one is still active and we have a grappler to worry about. So that is tough because we have lost two mechs now. I should have done a better job scouting and we are probably not going to win this attack because of that uh it looks like another one will get pulled our mechs are getting closer to where um that grappler is so that might be the last shock bomb we really want to throw on them and then we'll go take out a boom mine right there to keep our grenadiers alive even though i'm not shocking the grappler i probably should have right there um there is a lot of defenses around the grappler that we want to take care of including this shock blaster right here we're gonna barrage artillery at sea where that lies it looks like it goes down and we have lost every single mech and now we are down to grenadiers and a couple um a few bombardiers still alive so if we can hustle our way through this i don't think we will be able to because we have lost the remainder of our troops that is tragic so um maybe i do need to bring more bombardiers than grenadiers grenadiers are quite weak i don't really know what i was thinking and it, like if i was use if, if i was thinking the mine option then i only really need um one or two boats so we're gonna narrow it down to one with uh bombardiers and actually you know what i'm gonna do we're gonna bring a boat of laser rangers as well why not add them to the party the two newest troops hopefully they don't get um two up in each other's grills there but i think they will be friendly for this battle let's go ahead and see what we can do with this attack i'm gonna i'm gonna go from the right side this time maybe collapsing on the base from there will help us out draw the attack out a little bit longer but the laser rangers are quite 
quick. So we're going to have to make sure we let our mechs and other troops kind of get a head start because we don't want them. They're still level one. The upgrade might almost be over, but we don't want them just running to their deaths. We'll go ahead. Oh, no, I accidentally placed them. I think we gave them enough room, though, that it shouldn't be too problematic. But we're going to go ahead, get a shock right there. Wish I could have got the shock launcher. We'll go ahead, sacrifice another shock bomb, and pop a battle orders as we want to get as much energy as possible right now so we can afford probably two more shock bombs. We'll throw one right there. They pulled the mech, but I think that's fine. We've only lost one so far. The mechs, they are just, they get exposed way more than scorchers whenever they get grappled. Scorchers, you got a second or two for them, um, like tanking the damage near the grappler and then those defenses are uh, distracted but with the max it just seems instantaneous maybe they do get a little uh they are they they do stay alive for that split second so maybe that does help out but that uh, we want to keep the max alive because their use case it is the stun and i haven't been paying attention to that nearly enough but look at that that grappler is completely frozen that boom cannon completely frozen what we need next is to get them on that shock blaster and it is completely frozen so we are now seeing the stun in action but the problem is a lot of the defenses that are counters to the mech their range is so uh, they have such a big range that uh, like, they still get their damage out on the max prior to them getting stunned. So they still have an impact on the attack. Was still honestly kind of a weak attack. Maybe I'm just too used to using Scorchers. I spoil my t myself too much with them. But we'll go ahead, get our max down, get our Grenadiers, our Bombardiers, and our Hero out. And we will just wait for this first wave of mines to really get taken out and then we'll go ahead and get the laser rangers down i know they don't want to miss out on running into a minefield oh my gosh they are more likely to than heavies in that commercial they are just directly aiming for them sometimes we just got to make sure hopefully our um, grenadiers can take out some mines because we know the, the laser rangers unlike the laser trons do not take out mines that would be that, that's the most balanced feature of the Laser Rangers is their beam not taking out mines. Um, but they are still pretty strong troop, even at level 1. It just amazes me. I can't wait to get them upgraded and slowly just keep getting them more broken. But a much easier base on Davin here as he is only a level 67. We'll go ahead and just flare it on the HQ. And a more dominant attack, but we still lost a couple max. They are just, I, I guess their health was not one of the boosts that uh, Boom Beach gave them or one of the buffs they gave them. It was just damage, speed, and um, stun duration, but I thought that would help them survive a bit more. And maybe it has. Maybe with the max I'm just used to using all max. It's kind of like that Scorcher thing where when you have all Scorchers and y you can hold 16 of them, they're just broken. But when you can only hold 8, that difference right there is tremendous and it, they, they they aren't that strong until you get the the landing crafts that can hold um, two per boat um, but we'll go ahead into this next base here just throw a couple shock bombs onto the shock launchers as we need our mechs free so they can go and stun some buildings there we go finally finally able to get that boom cannon and look at that dead mech right there oh my gosh he just disappeared right? Um, I hate to see them die like that. And just their lifeless carcass um, just lying there and then slowly disappears. It must have already. Uh, I, I, I don't even know an explanation to how it can just disappear like that considering their meta. We'll go ahead, get a flare on the HQ here. Even though flares, you know, probably not the best. Like direct flared on the HQ, probably not the best option. Except for the bombardiers. You know, the max, they're going up to every defense, stunning them. The laser rangers, their damage comes from um, all the buildings they hit behind. You you narrow it down to one building, and they don't do that much damage. But the ma even the grenadiers, like you're just better off taking out to other defenses. But those two boats of bombardiers, they probably <laughs> bombardiers are so strong they probably cancel that out. We're gonna go ahead and actually just take out this grappler right here. Barrage to artillery, do it? No, very close, but no cigar. We'll go ahead 
get um, a box of critters right there get our mechs out we're gonna keep them tight in the middle here and then we'll go and get the rest of our troops down with some battle orders go at it troops front loaded base which means that we get to the defenses right away with the mech stunning the defenses instantaneously so that first battle orders does wonders but now i see some rocket launchers trying to poke through on my laser rangers so many troops to keep track of here so we're gonna shock none of those rocket launchers i thought i could get it to stretch to both nope we just we decided to miss all of them make it harder on us for this attack we're just gonna let we i think we have enough bombardiers focusing the hq we don't really need to flare as we take out the other defenses but maybe we would save i'm not sure i'm not sure it's it would just cause them to run away from the defenses, but also in that running sequence, they are um, they're, they're fully exposed to the defenses. So down goes another base where <laughs> the, the strat's pretty strong against these level 60 sums, but as soon as we get like level 70 or above, we could see them starting to struggle a bit, especially when we have Doom Cannons. I've been seeing so many boosted green statues. I i i just preach about resource rewards so much but i don't even have a resource reward statue down right now i'm trying to get one i should have had one in the storage waiting for an update but uh maybe that would have exposed myself as too optimistic for the beach update which it seemed like we weren't going to get one for a while but we finally did get one and you always want to have that loaded up for when the update does come so then you can get it uh, deployed right away and keep getting the loot because there was a loot shortage right around the start of the update but based on the bases I've been attacking today actually I haven't even been paying attention to the loot but I think there has been more um, a lot more loot in the past couple days just because of the research re reward and honestly small factor has to be those green statues as well all the all the accumulated green statues it might uh, it just adds up over time so it you know i only well i don't want to speak um fully here but i think i only want up like a million of each resource so that's not that much but that does mean we can get our upgrade started critter launcher to level three so slowly just chipping away at our upgrades and then of course our, our babies here the the laser ranger still got a day left on the upgrade to level two that is going to take a long time to get them maxed out but i am here for it but that's going to be it max got a buff um i can't even tell you if it was more usable usually i use max on their own so i i don't know why i didn't just do that and make my opinion on there on that but uh, yeah, with <laughs> it, it wasn't the strongest, but definitely not the weakest strat I've ever used. Thanks for making it to the end. We'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.